there are so many reasons why it's a good idea not to compare ourselves with others. Um, I just came up with another one uh, that I've been pondering for a while, but really it hit home today because of a lapse of my own. Uh, and uh, I'm going to mention it just to give you a, a, a sort of idea of my frame of mind. I had a breakfast date today, which I set up, uh, and I totally forgot to show up. Uh, just didn't make it. It was on my calendar. There really was no excuse. I do tend to play the age card from time to time, but uh, I left someone who's a dear, dear friend sitting. Uh, fortunately for me, he is a dear enough friend to instantly forgive me uh, and make me feel uh, less like at the heel that I still do feel like. I hate letting people down, and here I went ahead and did just that out of carelessness. Uh, anyhow, why is that relevant to today's uh, talk? First of all, I actually feel a little bit better having shared this with you. Even if you see this years from now, uh, you'll know that uh, uh, I make a lot of mistakes in my life. Uh, and generally feel better when I get them off my chest. Um, in a group that I'm part of, we've been studying the, uh, the uh, parable of the prodigal son. Uh, and if you know in a nutshell, there were two young men that were uh, in his father's household. One asked for and received the proceeds of his inheritance and then ran off uh, to uh, the city and squandered all of it finally getting to the point of destitution, he returned home, but his father instantly forgave him and in fact celebrated his return and threw a big party, while the elder son, witnessing what was going on, uh, felt very put upon uh, and angry uh, that his father would fuss over the younger son who had gone to uh, cause so much trouble for the family uh, in, uh, in really a, a sinful way of life. Uh, and yet the, he was getting the big party thrown for him while the older son uh, was not. Well, who are we asked to identify with in the, in the group that I've been studying and really how is that relevant to all of us maybe going forward? Uh, it's easy to identify uh, with the older son, I think. It doesn't seem fair after all. Here is someone who did what he was told and uh, didn't at least in his estimation, reap any reward from it, whereas his brother, who did it exactly the opposite of what was expected, was suddenly the subject of great celebration. It doesn't seem just, does it? And yet, if we look at the important underlying message here, uh, and this isn't just something that Jesus visits, although he does time and time again, uh, it really is an opportunity to extend that lesson beyond our faith tradition and just apply it to our own life. Do we compare ourselves to other people, especially with regard to what we approve or disapprove of in their behavior? It is so easy to, you know, to comfort ourselves uh, by saying, well, at least I'm not as bad as so-and-so is. Uh, but when we do that, we're actually committing a different kind of affront, a different kind of sin, if you will. We are using our superiority, which is, by the way, self-imposed, it really isn't earned, uh, as a way of uh, ranking ourselves, uh, controlling others, harboring resentments, uh, especially if we see it directed to a third party, in this case the father, who we think is being unfair and therefore uh, really owes us something now in return. If you look at the depth of how that, uh, how that unfolds, not just in our minds, but also in our attitudes and behaviors, you can see why it is indeed uh, a sinful way of living. And yet it is so easy to do. Uh, I think I've mentioned before when we've been talking about forgiveness um, that I'm in a, involved in a prison ministry right now. It is so easy for me, if I'm of a mind to, uh, to walk into that place and thinking uh, that I'm superior to the people who are forced to live there because I didn't make the mistakes they did. I didn't choose to uh, commit crimes uh, for which punishment is necessary and deserved. Uh, but we still are called to forgive nonetheless. doesn't mean that we allow people to uh, 
avoid the consequences of their decisions. And again, we've touched on this in the past. But we can at least realize that there is a reason for all of us to be in the state that we're in. And that is our in, 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 in the undeniable uh, lack of perfection forces us to acknowledge our sinfulness, our failings, our shortcomings, without w trying to compare them or justify them or, uh, you know, de-emphasize them on the basis of someone else's shortcomings that we perceive to be worse than our own. Getting free from that trap makes a lot of things easier. For one thing, it's possible for us to accept forgiveness when it's offered, uh, maybe to forgive ourselves as we need to do, but also to realize that we do have a growing edge that we need to find and we need to keep pushing it forward throughout our lives. And we gain nothing. Uh, we may think we gain a lot, but we gain nothing by justifying our status by saying, again, there's others that are worse, who have done worse, and therefore that makes me not as bad. That's fooling ourselves. And we, sh we show a great deal of growth in our lives when we admit that and we overcome it. Thanks.